Hey guys, LuckyHD here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to turn your basic, boring, bland Cosmore into the new form right here. In this video, this is going to be a full tutorial on how to evolve or technically change the form of this Lumion. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you go down there, like, and subscribe, and let's get straight into the video. Alright, so with the recent event in Lumion Legacy bringing meteor showers to the game, there's definitely been a lot of questions asked, okay? Number one, how to get Cosmere, which actually I just made a video talking about that. So if you want to check that out, definitely check up in the top right, the eye corner right there. There is a video, of course, how to get this entire Lumion, which you are going to need for this video. But there's also been another question of how do I change the form of this Lumion or how do I evolve this Lumion? And don't worry, guys, Papa Lucky HD is here to help you with all of your Lumion Legacy related problems, issues, and questions. So, the first thing you guys are going to need to do is get a Cosmere. I think that should be pretty obvious because, I mean, it's literally changing a form of this Lumion. But you got to have this Cosmere. Of course, you find this thing when you are inside of the Meteor Shower at a 1 in 128 chance. And then after that, you're going to want to go out and find two different Meteors. Alright, so the first Meteorite you're going to want to find is the Matterite. Now, the Matterite is actually going to reverse the effects of the Anti Matterite. I know, it's a confusing thing, but it actually looks like this, okay? And the chance to find this is going to be a 1 in 75 chance. So, the next meteorite you're going to want to find is the Antimatterite. Now, the Antimatterite is going to be the thing that basically changes Cosmere's form. Think of Cosmere kind of as like a, a, a Lego, right? You can put pieces onto it, but you can also take pieces off. Basically, what you're doing with the Antimatterite is taking pieces off, and what you're doing with the Matterite is putting the pieces back on. So, now what you need is actually two Antimatterites. I know, it's a lot of stuff. It, it is really a lot of stuff. But you need two Antimatterites if you want to get the final form, and you need two Matterites if you want to revert it all the way back to his brown version. So to show you an example that should hopefully make more sense, if we go right into our items right here and scroll all the way down under the item section, you can see the Matterite and the Antimatterite. What we're going to do is use the Antimatterite on the Cosmere. So by using it one time, you're actually going to give Cosmere arms. As you can see, you're giving Cosmere arms, and by doing that, you're going to take Cosmere's, you know, kind of bulkiness and its melee defense and all that stuff, and you're going to convert it into a ranged attacker, okay? So, how it starts out is regular Cosmere is a more kind of just basically b just bulky Lumen, okay? It, it is a really, really bulky Lumen. And then, when you use the Antimatterite once, you're gonna change it into a ranged attacker, and then when you use it a second time, you're gonna bring it into a melee attacker. And to show you guys what I mean, if we actually go into Cosmere right here and go to Training, you can see that this Lumen has 145 energy and 135 melee defense. If we use the Antimatterite once, as you can see, it turns it into a ranged attacker with a 124 range attack, 43 melee attack, and the defense goes down by a little bit, same with the energy. And then if you use the Antimatterite again on this one right here, it turns into a full melee attacker with a 134 melee attack with 105 energy, 105 melee defense, and 43 range attack. And now, of course, to give a demonstration of what I mean by taking the Antimatterite and using it on the other Cosmere, I'm gonna go right back into my items, scroll all the way down to the Antimatterite, use it on the one with the arms, okay? Don't use it again on, like, anything else. Use it on the one with the arms, and as you can see, it changes it into the melee attacker one. This one looks pretty cool. I really like this one a lot. And then, if you want to change it back, say you wanted the range attacking one again, you go to your items, scroll all the way down again, go to your Matterite, use the Matterite on your Cosmere, your melee attacking Cosmere, and boom, it is going to put the shell right back on it. So yeah, I know it's a really, really, really confusing thing. I'll kind of put like the basic steps up on screen right now if it helps you, I guess. Um, and yeah, that was the video, guys. Definitely let me know down in the comments below. Did this help you out? I hope it did. If there's, you know, any more explaining needed, definitely comment it down below. Myself or others will try to help you out. And yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you're going to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.